Dragon Ball Super, the last episode has aired on 25th of March 2018. That is over four years ago now. It's crazy, right? It feels like yesterday we were watching the Tournament of Power unfold. You know, Universe 7 versus all the other universes in this giant team battle royale. It was insane. It was an amazing, amazing arc. And now, you know, I mean, Dragon Ball Super wasn't completely gone, right? Like, we've got Dragon Ball Super Broly, uh, we got the newest movie, Dragon Ball Super Superhero, and we're still getting the manga, which currently is in the Granola arc, and stuff is actually pretty wild. Our boy Vegeta has evolved, he's ascended, and things are going well. But everybody has one burning question on their mind. When is Dragon Ball Super going to be returning? Because you cannot deny the success of this franchise. It is monumental. It is insane. You've got mobile games going crazy, gaining so much money. I mean, you've got so many banners coming out for Dragon Ball Legends, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Dude, they're earning, they are seriously earning so much money. But with the manga, we already know it's going to get adapted. There is no way a behemoth like this of a franchise would stay sleeping forever there is no way and recently listen so there's this Twitter account called Spanku okay and this Twitter account whenever they tweet something whenever they like they're a leaker for anime and things and whenever they tweet something it comes true okay so they're an insider they know or they've got some good sources and whatnot I mean our boy geeked them He's been hinting at this stuff for a while. Dude, it is time. He's just tweeted a photo of Ultra Instant Goku. <laughs> and I think it's time, okay, for this to happen. It is crazy. It, like, it's all but confirmed. I mean, you've got all the insiders. You've got all the leakers talking about it. You've got, you know, you've even got our boy Dragon Ball Super Chronicles on Twitter. Dude, imagine, imagine, dude. It is crazy. And you've also got a tweet from Spanku themselves going and tweeting, an immortal masterpiece in the world of anime will return with a new look announcement this year. So this is more than likely talking about Dragon Ball Super with a new look. My guess for the new look is it's going to be Shintani style. So like the Dragon Ball Super... Uh, Broly movie, not superhero, so it's not gonna be CG because CG would be pretty expensive if they were gonna do it every episode. It's gonna be in that style, which honestly, hell yeah, if that's the case. Let's freaking go, dude. That's like the best possible scenario. Um, it would be absolutely insane, dude. So, there is that. Um, Obviously, you know, he, the person might not be talking about Dragon Ball Super itself, but that tweet with the Ultra Instant Goku is all about confirmation. So, there is that as well. Um, there's just so many different things as well that we've gotten um, as, you know, tweets and things. There's an account, Dragon Ball Super 2019. Have an exciting scoop that I'm checking and then double and triple checking to confirm or share when I have it concrete. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, super replies you should change your name 2023 and you know it's pretty crazy and then there's also this interview for Dragon Ball Super Superhero where um, obviously one of the key people working on it was like there's also a chance that something other than the movie will be coming this year too and what's something other than the movie huh a game no or would they promote a game on this so there's a chance that something other than a movie will be coming this year. So it doesn't have to be necessarily this year, obviously. It's more than likely it'll be 2023 with, you know, this whole pandemic thing that's happened. Things have been pretty out of whack, right? They've been pretty crazy. But there is no way. There's no way that we're not going to be getting Dragon Ball Super returning. I refuse to believe it. There's just so much, so much information out there. So many different things. And with it happening, let me tell you about what I'd want to see. So, when Dragon Ball Super first came out, okay, you know, we had all the movies, right? We had them in the Dragon Ball Z style. So we had Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods and Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, right? So those were in the style or, or under the name Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Super comes out and they retell those two arcs, okay? They re- well, the movies. They retell them in the forms of arcs. Now, Resurrection F, <laughs> the animation was not the best. I will give you that, okay? 
But now if Dragon Ball Super Season 2 or just, you know, Dragon Ball Super comes back, I want them to retell Dragon Ball Super Broly, give more emphasis on the whole, you know, Saiyan backstory with like, you know, the whole Dragon Ball Minus thing with Barok, have him more fleshed out, have his battle against Freezer soldiers, you know, stuff like that. Hell, maybe you could even show him like fighting against Gas from the manga, things like that, okay? Flesh out Broly more, show us more of his life on Vampa, and show us Frieza scheming and plotting and coming to Earth, and then make the battle with, you know, Goku and Vegeta against Broly longer, maybe give it, give like Goku and Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and Vegeta gets uh, Blue Evolution as they fight Broly, and then that isn't enough. He surpasses that and then they have to fuse stuff like that would be insane and then maybe like when he goes you know or like well when he turns Super Saiyan Blue for the first time you could give him a flash of Ultra Instinct I think that would be sick like they did in the movie but kind of more you know actually uh, pronounce it a bit more you know there's just so much that they can do here and then obviously we'll be going through the Moro arc and then Granola there, and then, you know, we'll be going through the next arc, whatever it may be, because we'll probably be finished with Granola by the time Dragon Ball Super comes back. So there's so much content for them to just go through. I mean, and we've even just had, like, <laughs> Super Dragon Ball Heroes going crazy. Like, in the latest episode, you've had, like, Future Gohan from a different timeline come back. It, it, dude, it, it's been crazy over there as well. So there's so much potential. And also, I didn't even mention this monumental success of Xenoverse 2 contributing to the franchise, though, personally. <laughs> the universe 2 man it's gotta stop it's gotta stop it's too many DLCs man just give us the next game please but I'm gonna just finish up with my thoughts here so Dragon Ball Super is all but confirmed to come back okay it's all but confirmed officially so all the leakers all the insiders everybody has some sort of information going on obviously okay so there is that it's such a monumental franchise why would it not return think about it it's been insanely successful it's been like absolutely crushing everything the viewership like back when Dragon Ball Super episodes were coming out like it was crashing crunchy roll left and right so that speaks volumes of the success of this franchise and Dragon Ball has always been a behemoth but now more so than ever before and of course in Dragon Ball Super dude after Granola we're gonna get a retelling most likely of Dragon Ball Super Superhero and imagine that in the Shintani style with my god, that would be amazing, dude. Man, like for real, for real. <laughs> so, I do want to hear you guys' thoughts. What do you think? Do you think Dragon Ball Super is going to be coming back or not? Also, use code AVOLTEX for 10% off of your gamer subs. Trust me, dude, it helps me out, man. Like, this is so good. It's such a good energy drink. Like, no BS, you know. It's so good. You get some free. Uh, samples as well, you can get that with my code as well, and then get yourself a waifu shaker cup, why the hell not, we love anime out here, right, so go ahead, you know, <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna leave it here, hope you guys had an absolute wonderful day, take care of yourselves, and see you in the next one, peace.